Hey, Milton Daily Homes, Chuck here, and I just wanted to thank all the people that came to the buyer class last night. It was a really great class, and as always, Colin Best brought the heat with some amazing information. I mean, if you're ever curious about what Milton's going to look like 5, 10, 25 years from now, that's the guy to speak to. Simply amazing. So let's get to today's list. There's 15 properties, and so 341 Wilson, number 43, is the first one. It's at 224.9, and uh, which is actually generally a pretty good price for these ones. Maintenance fees are a little bit higher at 318 a month. And uh, you've got three bedrooms, two washroom. You also have the electric baseboard heat, which you can see in some of these photos. So that's something just to be cautious about. And in order to keep your costs down with uh, electric baseboard heat, oftentimes you're managing the levels on those ones. You don't just kind of set them and forget them. And uh, there you go. That really the basic stuff's included in the condo fees. Now, 1491 Maple number 401 is at 279 444, kind of a funny price. Two bedroom, two washroom. And you know, I like that second washroom. I think it's a great value feature long term. And uh, so the fees on this one are $232.77. There's the open concept design. You come in off the door, probably on this right hand side. And what they didn't do a great job of showing, and I suppose it's hard on, on some of these angles. On the fourth floor of this building, the ceilings slope up and they go up to like a 12 or 13 foot ceiling. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. It's a big open concept layout. Um, it's very nice. So you've got one of the bedrooms here and then one of them just over in the back here too. There's the other one there. And, uh, and you back onto a pond too. So you've got a great view and all in. I mean, the two bedroom, two washrooms typically are selling kind of in the 270 to 290 range. So these guys with the fourth floor with all the stuff they have, I think is a screamer of a deal. It's a very, very good deal. Uh, 620 Ferguson number 80 is the next one. And so this is our listing and it's the second one in. It's a little bit hard to get these tall ones and sort of get the full picture, but it's a li listed at 292. There's a $46 extra fee. It's for snow removal, garbage removal, things like that. And I always say that the difference of that 46 a month, if you put it onto a mortgage, it's about $10,000. So you want to compare this to stuff listed around $299 or just slightly over that. So the um, you've got your main floor, which you can actually use. So there's, there's an open foyer that you can use as an office, exercise area. And then you go upstairs and you've got this room right here and then the kitchen. And there's also an eat-in area in the kitchen, which is very rare to find. You can see a chair just over to the side, stainless steel appliances, the brand new appliances there. And then the washroom. And then you open the washroom right through here and you've got your laundry room right on that level where you've got the kitchen, the family room. So it's super convenient. And then you go upstairs, you've got your master bedroom and uh, you've got your second bedroom there. They're both good size. You get a double sink in here and just nice neutral colors. Um, it's a great property, really nice. Actually looks even better than the photos. Um, fantastic, 1295 square feet for that kind of price range, even with that extra fee. Very good, and I'll compare, I'll show you what I mean. So 943 Deverell is at 299, 1130, or actually less than that. This is like 1050 square feet uh, for this one here. So we're talking about over 200 square feet bigger and this one here, it's still nice, right? I mean, you're talking about the carpet in here, which is the same as what Ferguson has. And uh, they have a lot of stuff in here, so it's going to make this place look a lot smaller. There's your kitchen with the balcony there, and then there's two bedrooms upstairs. July 29th is the date they're looking for on this one. Okay, so 1506 Harwood, although there's no photos, I'll show you a little bit about what to know on this one. So 339.9 is the price, and it has a finished basement, and that's a good thing because when you look, all you have is this long living room and then you have a kitchen. So it's very small. Like I've seen this model before. I don't know what it's called, but it's probably no more than like 1,200, 1,250 square feet. And so having that basement really gives you a lot of, um, a lot of extra space that you can use. Okay, so you do have uh, two full bathrooms upstairs despite that. So it still has, usually you start to see the two full bathrooms past 1,300, 1,350 square feet. But uh, this one is, uh, it does have those upstairs. So Lori is the next one. 349.9, three bedroom, two washroom. And you can see there's definitely room in the driveway for extra cars. Okay, so you can do the double 
the, the double driveway so you're not doing the switcheroo game with the cars, which drives most people crazy. And uh, so it's a link home. So what it means is if we go back to the front here, rewind selector. And so we've got the, um, we've, uh, between these two homes, you can see how the walls are kind of flush. They share a foundation wall, but there's no exterior walls that they share. So they look like detached homes, when in actuality, they do have a common, um, you know, a common shared wall between them. Where you also see links is when the garage is linked. So it's a non-interior uh, main floor or second floor wall that's attached, I guess is a good way to say it when you have a link. Okay, so let's go back here and you've got the one full bathroom upstairs. You've got a powder room. The cabinets look good. The flooring, I don't know what's going on with the flooring there. Um, and then you've got the sort of long room right here. They've done some moldings. And uh, there you go. The yard is not huge. It's a 100-foot lot, but this thing's set back so far on the street that you don't really get a lot of space back there. But there is a deck. There's a barbecue. And that's standard. Like, that's what you get with the Matami home anyway. So three forty nine nine. I think really for basically a detached home in that range, very fair price. I can't see this one lasting very long. Okay, so Livingston's the next one. It's at 379 nine, 1,700 square foot townhouse. And uh, you have four full bathrooms upstairs too. I like it. Okay, so there you go. So you get a view of a pond. I'm trying to think where on Livingston you'd see that pond. But, uh, but anyhow, it could be nearby. I don't think it's right by this house. Uh, you got your entrance there. You've got your living dining combined. Get into the back, there's your kitchen with an eat-in and then it opens up to the uh, to the family room and there's some pot lights here too. walk out to the yard there's no shot of the yard but there is a virtual tour here and the other thing that we didn't see in the photos and I think that one of those nine photos when you have a finished basement should be directed towards that area because it's such a huge value upsell feature so these guys do apparently have a finished basement in this home and I would love to see some photos of about that, but I, I, I like it. I think it's priced well, especially with that basement. Now, speaking of finished basements, we got this one on 241 Featherstone, which is our listing, and I can't believe it hasn't sold. Okay, so we had it at 439.8 and getting good, consistent activity, and so we said, well, let's just speed up the process a bit, get it sold, and then not to worry about things. So then um, you've got a double driveway here, so no switcheroo with the cars. These guys share the foundation wall too, but they are detached from the outside. And uh, when you go inside, I mean, this is a fantastic home. Pot lights, moldings, the um, the baseboards have been upgraded. Like everything is done in this home. It's, I mean, the pride of ownership. The husband's in construction. He knows what he's doing. And uh, so the backsplash is done here. And the light fixtures have been replaced. Uh, the shower, the tiles have been replaced. So the pride of ownership in this home is fantastic. Second floor laundry on this one and a fully finished basement. Very well done. Okay, so this is all open. Okay, so that's the kind of thing that's really nice. So you can watch movies. You can have a little desk. The kids can play all that stuff. Cantina in here too. And they spent a ton of money on aggregate patio. They spent uh, money on concrete in the front, so that's a poured concrete, um, or a pattern concrete, pardon me. He put a nice cedar shed in here too, so lots of money spent on this. It's just a beautiful home, and I have no doubt that it's going to sell very quickly at this price. So definitely call us if you're interested. Okay, so next one up is 1656 Beatty Trail, and it's a 439.9. Let me just get to the front shot here. This is a Pilgrim model. Now, when you compare this to some of the other recent sales in the neighborhood, I think it's kind of a fair price. Okay, so it's a 1742 square foot home with a finished basement. Now, the problem is, is that there was a guy that was selling on his own recently, and he still sold, I think, for like 415. And so really comparable to this home. So he sold lower than potentially what I think he could have um, with the services of an agent here. These guys may end up getting some, some much uh, higher dollars. So there's the hardwood floors. 
There's your kitchen. The complaint with this one is that you don't really, they've put a table here, but it's tight. That's the biggest table that you could possibly think of to put in this space. You can't go bigger than that. And so it says four bedrooms on this one. Okay, so it's possible that they did do the four upstairs. It's a little bit tight. There's your basement downstairs. Okay, so it looks like a, a well-finished basement. And the yard is standard, although they did a nice photo there to make it look big. Okay, so this is a nice looking home. I really, I think that they've got a real chance at selling very close to that number. Now, 31 Scott is at 489.9, and it's a three bedroom with a double car garage. So three bedrooms are a little bit tough. I mean, if your price range is 489, I mean, we've got one over on Tonelli that's a four bedroom, so you don't have to settle for the three. And that's what can make it difficult for someone who's selling these homes. Um, it looks like a really nice open concept layout. Uh, Heathwood builds a fantastic home. I rave about them. Um, and no, they don't sponsor this show at all. Uh, the backsplash is kind of interesting, a little bit different than something I usually see. Granite countertops here. And uh, so they're extremely open concept. You may be wondering what's in that hatch. That's the access to the roof. So this is probably on the back side of the home. And then there's no finished area above the roof. So that's the way you get into the lower attic. Uh, probably above the main floor there, the main floor family room. Dormers there too, so 489. It's hard to tell the size of this one. I don't know what model it is. Um, I'm guessing it's probably about 2,000 square feet, but that's just a rough guess. Okay, so Jelinek or Yelinek is at 499. Uh, double car garage, 40 feet, 90 feet deep. That's a good sized piece of land. And so this room here is a little bit tricky. What do you do there? Like it's a hard space to, like, do you put a table there? You got to kind of bend around the table to get into the rest of the home. I find these columns really mess with your eyes. You know, like if it was just these walls, I think it would look a lot more open. Um, so there it is. So you got your family room here, four bedrooms upstairs, nice colors in the kitchen. And then you have the family room too. So 2350 square feet. And although this one is, uh, it doesn't have hardwood or anything like that, the kitchen looks good. The size is there. So if you're okay with the layout on this home, I think that 499 is an excellent price. And uh, and so Fox is the next one, 1197 Fox, 519.9. And um, this is, I saw this home last year. I thought it sold, but I guess it didn't. So it came back out and... What's nice is back here, there's uh, there's a park, okay? The schools are nice and close. It's in the Chris Hadfield School District. Uh, we've got a home right across the street that's for sale. And so double car garage. When you walk in this home, this is a corner lot. So you've got the living room just to the side, to the right there. You can see it there. There's your front door. And then you walk down the hallway and you've got a dining room. And then further in, you've got your kitchen, and then you've got a family room just over here. Okay, and then you've got a basement. And when you're in this basement, there's like a little pass-through window. Like there's a lot of angles in this basement. It kind of throws your eyes off a bit. Uh, but I found the construction quality was decent, right? It was, it was okay. And uh, you've got a nice wide corner property that's almost 48 feet. And overall, I think that for five nineteen, you're getting a lot of value for your money. So this one is, uh, I mean, it's its certainly not the knockout one that you're going to be blown away with, but its it can make a lot of sense. So Pringle, this looks like it's kind of an offset garage. So it's one of those ones where you're losing your your driveway space here, but having it come up a little bit further means that your, your inside is more open concept. Now, it's only a three-bedroom. And I believe that this is the entire house. So you've got your kitchen here, you've got your family room, and then you have a, uh, a room over here, maybe a dining room or something like that. And that's represented by these two rooms. There's your kitchen. Then you have three bedrooms upstairs. So again, 519, the thing that may hold these guys back, that's a nice glass shower there too. Uh, that may hold them back is having those three bedrooms. Looks like there's upstairs laundry as well. Okay, so... Pringles of Feeder Street, too. So there's a lot of traffic that's starting to go on Pringle. Uh, Belton Crescent, these guys were at 639 or 619. So they've really come down to 599. This is a Vanderwood. It's 3053 square feet. 
These Vanderwoods, this is an eight foot ceiling. When you have the nine foot on this model, it completely changes this, okay? So I think that is a very smart upgrade in this one. It's not bad, the kitchen's okay. I mean, it's just, it's it's got some good features to it. Um, it just doesn't kind of knock you out. But at $5.99, it starts to make a lot of sense. And there's some big homes around here. It's a beautiful area. And uh, certainly a, uh, a strong contender, I think, here. Okay, so Lesage. Now, this one, same thing. Started up in the sevens. And the market has changed. Really has. Up in that kind of over 600 range. Changed quite a bit. So they, uh, they're they now down to 649. And when you look at the pictures of this home, uh, you have, I mean, that is not a builder's kitchen. That is a fantastic looking kitchen. Beautiful built-in appliances here. The Sub-Zero fridge. Um, stylish, lovely home. And uh, I was surprised when it didn't sell for $674.9. Now seeing this price, it's got to sell. So there's your fireplace in the bedroom. You've got your California shutters. Look at all the windows in this room. Gorgeous stuff. Okay, so the uh, this is the kind of home. Sometimes people have really nice furnishings that distract you from the averageness of the home. This one their furnishings, like you can't even see their furnishings because you're looking at all the upgrading that they're doing. And uh, and the good thing for you as a buyer is you actually get the benefits. So I'm a big fan of this one. It's definitely heat. It's definitely a strong competitor for people who are selling in this range. Um, it is certainly, it has the wow factor. So that's our list for today. And uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. It's Thursday, which means we're starting to book our weekend appointments. So if you want to come on a tour of Milton Homes, just click the link over there. Let us know when you'd like to come and we'll definitely set that up. So have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow with more Milton Daily Homes. Bye.